Listen to me. No matter what is happening to you in life, stay social. Do not isolate. No matter what is happening to you in life, stay social. Do not isolate. I'm going to tell you why. And I wish somebody had told me this when I was 18 years old. Maybe I'll skip parallel universe, quantum leap back to when I'm 18 years old. I'm talking to myself. Okay. Time's probably an illusion, but that's for another talk. Here's what I would say. I would say, look, the human brain has evolved and been built to over-exaggerate problems, period. I was just in Dubai with 150. I did like a small group meetup in Dubai with some of my top students that have been in my, doing my courses, programs, learning from me for like a decade. One of them sitting on 20 million in cash, making a million a month. And he was telling me how depressed and anxious and how anxiety dominates his life and how it's getting worse. I was with another dude. No, he's got a software company valued over 500 million bucks. It's 20, like 28, 29. So I'm going, wait, what's going on? And I've been there too. It's called brain hijacking. Our ancestors, we evolved from grandparents. We are the, the grandchildren of grandparents who over-exaggerated their problems because if you over-exaggerated, worst case scenario, you just a little bit overreacted, but at least you survived. Our grandparents who under-exaggerated didn't have many kids because if you under-exaggerate the problem, once in a while, once in a lifetime, it's catastrophic. So all of a sudden, I'm in Dubai and I'm going, wait a second. I got to quantum leap back to my 18-year-old self and be like, Ty... Almost all the things you're freaked out about is an over-exaggeration. And the reason you must stay social is because the right people, and life is mostly a social game, the right people check you. I had to check this dude. I was like, bro, don't be coming with your anxiety sitting on 20 million cash. You're perfectly healthy. You got freedom. As long as you have health and freedom, nothing's wrong. That, that's one thing I'll tell you. <laughs> you know, but the thing about it, it's like health, physical body. Supermodels. I know supermodels. All the supermodels I know that are thin, they look at women who are curvy and are like, yo, I wish I was curvy. Every curvy woman, or almost every curvy woman, when they're alone, they're like, oh, what would it be like to have long, thin legs? Dude, I have a friend who's 6'4". He's like, man, I remember him telling me once, I was like, dude, 6'6", six, six, that's the height you want to be. I don't think it. You're over-exaggerating the problem. You're 6'4". You got it good, man. You're like, yeah, but 6'6", six, six, I got a friend. It's like, then you're always the tallest dude in the room. I'm going over exaggeration of the brain. That's why by him staying social, I'm like, come on, man, stop it. You need those people in your life. And that's why when things are going wrong, the tendencies do isolate. Think about wealth. I was just telling you about people sitting on 20, the guy who's the, the, the couple of people that I was with that are sitting on 10 to 30 million of cash. They're all freaked out now about losing it. My broke friends are afraid they'll never gain money and my friends who have it are worried they'll lose it because now they've tasted it and they're like oh, i can't go back i don't ever want to go back so they're anxious and not able to sleep at night love i had a friend <laughs> he did not like the woman he was with he had been with her for a few years he is like man we should break up but i've been with her so long babe. and then she broke up with him and i'm thinking great problem solved he should be overjoyed nope over exaggeration of brain, like, well, wait a sec, time. Maybe I've been wrong. But now that she broke up with me, I think I lost the one. <laughs> and by being in a social setting, we were out with a couple of friends. We're like, come on, bro, you're good. You weren't even happy with her. And so by saying social, you check, you diminish, you knock back the over exaggeration. And that over exaggeration goes crazy when you isolate. You sit, you, people, when things aren't going well, someone breaks up with them, they're not making money, career failure. I don't know, my health, they look at their body, people, I have friends that are like, yeah, I'm ugly, you know, it's like, dude, that's the new thing, or dude, I think it's because of Instagram, <laughs> and 20 years ago, guys didn't realize they weren't that good looking, but now, social media, women are more aware, and they say, I read a scientific uh, report, where women are more aware of their, their act, even though women sometimes are shown on social media exaggerating, that men actually over-exaggerate their looks, but now on social media, you're like, there's like male models on, so it's like my guy friend's they stop going out, stop meeting women because they're like, yo, I'm ugly. And they start over exaggerating they're, and they're fine, you know, and they stop going out and they stop saying social. And all of a sudden it's a self-fulfilling dream. I mean, a prophecy all of a sudden. Yeah. They're not meeting anybody. And I'm going, that's because you're inside your head and your head is, but your head's like a pit bull it can be your greatest ally to protect and save you, but can it also can turn on you and destroy you.
you know, it's your choice. It's your choice. So be very careful with the isolation. There is a time to isolate yourself. You know, there is a time. I once a month you go on a preset arrangement. It shouldn't be spontaneous. When it's spontaneous, you're usually doing it incorrectly. Well, it's planned like, okay, the last weekend of every month I go camping or I go out in nature or, you know, something like that. I get, I need two days away from people just to contemplate. That's good. But when it's reactive, like, oh, today I woke up and I, you know, I feel like I'm not making enough money. I don't like my, like, and then you isolate right then. That's deadly. So stay social, stay social. Now, some people are like, Ty, I'm not good, social, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to tell you this. Flurries of activity is the solution. So people are like, yo, I'm lonely. I don't have a girlfriend. I'm like, go on 10 dating sites. <laughs> go on, go to nightclubs. Go to libraries. Go to Starbucks. Take a, take a class on how to meet people. Like, do 20 things. Because what happens, we have social media and this one person says, do this one thing. You know, some people are like, never do, you know, never do a dating website or never go to a nightclub or only meet women this way or only, and, and the truth is there's multiple paths based on your, your genetics and your personality. It's going to work best. So flurries of activity, don't worry about what social setting, anything that's social, man, go to, I tell people, go to an old folks home. They're, they're lost and deserted people. Unfortunately, in modern society, we've, we've, we've gone astray in the past Everyone took care of their parents. They just moved in. They built them a little house in the backyard, like what the Amish do. So you go to the old folks home. They're happy to see you. It's They're isolated, but you bring them together. Like I've done them before, and it's crazy. There's no security in an old folks home, nursing home. Why? Because nobody ever comes to visit them. <laughs> it's a sad thing. There's no worries of security because then nobody cares. So you walk in there, do stand-up comedy. They'll laugh at all your jokes. If they can hear you, you know, <laughs> they'll laugh at all your jokes. So it's like problem solved. People are like, oh, Ty, I'm shy. I'm like, problem solved. Go to people who are so happy for any social interaction. You know, maybe you have friends that are too picky. Maybe you're dating. You're, it's like that Ollie G <laughs> Borat where he's like interviewing the dude who's a whatever, 40-year-old virgin. And he's like, are you a virgin? Because what did he say? Because you're shy or because you're going for honeys outside of your league. Stop dating out of your league, men and women. Pull it back. Huh? I've dated beautiful and I've dated, you know, all, it's, it's all right. It's safe. If you're struggling, don't be going for the top, the top tier. Okay. I know that's probably politically incorrect, but whatever, you know, get social, go on a date with someone you're not even that attracted to. You don't have to lead them on. Just like, yo, I wanted someone to talk to. Let's go out. Guys always complaining. No one writes them back on Tinder. Somebody will write you back. I mean, don't even have to use Tinder. Go, go up to somebody. You know, post on social media. Yo, I'm bored. Who wants to go out? All people. Hey, I'm interested in anyone. Start doing a weekly thing. I used to open up my house every Sunday. Bowl barbecue. And I told people, you got to invite two friends. Get social. Change your game. Change your life. It will it will fix this over-exaggeration we had. And ultimately, when you look at most of the problems that humans have now, it's isolation. Countries isolate. Look at World War One, the history of World War One, the history of World War Two, the Franco-Prussian War, the Crimean War, Vietnam War. It's isolation. People stop talking to each other. You know, I don't know what you know. I got different people have different opinions on Donald Trump, but remember when he met Kim Jong Un, the uh, the uh, dictator from North Korea, and everybody said that's bad. I'm like, is that really bad? You know, like. Um, is that really bad? Like, I feel like, um, hold on one second. I feel like isolation is what's bad. So speak to, if I'm president, which I don't want to be, but speak to everybody. You don't have to agree with them. Get out. Social life will change your life and the over-exaggeration bias will take you hostage when you're isolated in a room. And so this depression is normal. But you must, you must knock it back to the people. Okay. So leave a comment what you think is the best way if somebody's listening to this and they're suffering with crazy levels of anxiety and depression, isolation, what you found to be like the best. Like I said, I found the best, honestly, to do something on a weekly set basis and invite people and it starts to snowball. Like at my house, I'd have a barbecue every, you know, 12 o'clock 
I first started out with my two friends and I told them, you know, to bring two more friends and they kept bringing two more friends. And the next thing you knew, it was like 40, 50 people every Sunday. I didn't have to do anything. Some of my best friends came out of that, you know? 